What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today we're going on a big adventure. You ready? Let's go. It's about a five hour hike. It's probably gonna take us at least an hour and a half to get there. So if we get there by like 10 o'clock and we start hiking, if it's five hours, then it's two, we'll be finished by three. Okay, okay let's do it. Let's get out of here. We got a plan. Levada dos Tornos in Boaventura. Marta, you're gonna have to do a little bit of driving. By the way, we're using uh, Madeira taxi transfers, best in the business. That's who we use. It's my taxi connection. So today we really have to work for our money. There's a, a saying that I like to say, which is, uh, you know, when the weather's good and everything is perfect, uh, any monkey can do our job. But it's when these kinds of things happen, when you have to go to plan B, plan C, whatever, that you have to adjust, uh, that it helps to have a guide in Madeira. You know, any guide, any great guide in Madeira. But anyway, we've arrived at the start of today's hike. So uh, we're gonna be climbing up a little bit up here into the green mountains of Boa Ventura. We are on the north coast, central north coast, more or less. And uh, Boa Ventura is probably one of the most underrated places in Madeira and a real hidden gem. So if you are coming out here and you want to escape the crowds and see something truly beautiful, then make sure to put Boa Ventura on your list. And um, yeah, we're going to get up to the start of the Levada and uh, we'll get into uh, what is Levada dos Tornos in Boa Ventura, one of Madeira's most important Levadas. We've made it to the Levada. So it only took us about, about 25 minutes to get there. And this is it, this is the top part, this is the the beginning of the Valle dos Tornos. Uh, we started in a place called Lombo do Urzal. And of course, all the information will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, it's a bit warm now. And this is the trick to the weather in Madeira. It's layers. Nice to prepare yourself uh, for the sunrise or for anything in the mountains, hiking and all that stuff. You know the deal, you gotta be safe. So this is it, Levada do Stardunos. We're gonna start walking. The rest of the, of the walk is all flat and only at the end is there a, a downhill for about another 30 minutes. So if you're gonna be doing this Levada, uh, then you've got this up and down and then the rest is all flat. It's extremely beautiful, um, but I don't recommend it for beginners, all right? This is a bit of a technical Levada and we'll talk about that as we go. It's not a Levada that you can do all year kind of thing as well. So uh, we'll get into that. But perfect for the summer, perfect for escaping crowds. We're starting to hear little droplets. So most of the Levada thankfully is protected under the the canopy of trees. Always bring your waterproofs. And uh, you know, we got those plastic bags that cover the, the entire backpack as well. Waterproof uh, jacket. And uh, Andrea's probably gonna put uh, the main camera away. So for now, I guess it's goodbye. Let's see, uh, let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up with you when the rain goes away. How's that, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. 
Today's video is sponsored by Hit The Road Madeira. We are the greatest tour company in the world. And here in Madeira, we are a small group of tour guides. Uh, we are four guides in total. We drive four by fours and we like to provide half day, full day, group tours and private tours, um, specializing in escaping the crowds and uh, seeing the best of Madeira, the hidden gems and off the beaten path. We also have a Patreon account where you can get moving advice, travel advice and itinerary planning as well as exclusive content for us for only four euros fifty as well as an entry into our annual giveaway we will be giving away a vacation in Madeira one week with tours and accommodations excluding flights obviously. If you need any help in Madeira then check us out, send us a mail, leave us a comment, like and subscribe because there's loads of cool stuff coming to this channel and without any further ado, let's hit the road. This is a little gate kind of thing a little metal sluice gate and we use these we slide these into the levada please don't do this by the way when you're uh, walking the levadas but we slide this into the levada well the levada the the levada workers slide this into the levada when they want to direct the water into different areas so over here we can see this one is blocked off over here and then the water keeps going so one day if they want this water direct, to direct this water to another place, then they'll open this up. They might even close this side so it flows in. I'm not sure where that one comes from. I'm sure it's close by here. Looks like there's a little slit over there. It might be from there. So loads of water in Madeira. And this uh, is one of the places where we get so much water. And I'm not 100% sure about this because again, I'm not a uh, fauna and flora expert you know know a little bit about everything but this is not i'm not always hiking even though i do uh, enjoy it probably enjoying it a little bit too more but anyway uh, this is part of the lauri silver forest our rainforest in madeira our endemic rainforest in madeira and this is why we have so much water so the levadas start in places like this on the north side collects the water and takes it to the agricultural fields, to the hydroelectric power plants, um, to the water treatment centers, where they then go into the, the water network, uh, even in Funchal. So we're gonna get into that because, you know, I don't wanna tell you everything in one go, uh, but this is one of the most important levadas in Madeira, 106 kilometers long. Can you hear the birds? beautiful also the laurel trees are particularly beautiful on this hike we're gonna try and film some really old beautiful laurel trees so yeah let's go it's not raining anymore it's nice might just get the camera out and start stamping away This is one of my favorite parts of the hike. This bridge, the rocks, the water, all of it. You guys ready? Let's go. <laughs> You gotta be super careful up here and I don't recommend doing this kind of stuff. You know, experts only. I could stay at this all day. So pretty. Absolutely beautiful, 100% natural. Just gorgeous. And um, just a little segue into the next section which I wanna talk about which is safety. Uh, you can probably already tell there's loads of boulders, loads of really big boulders. Right there, there's 
that's probably like a five ton or a 10 ton boulder. So in the winter time, this area of Madeira, the north side, and particularly here in Boaventura, gets a lot of rain. So this is not recommended during the winter time, especially this kind of stuff that we're doing. We're being very careful where we put our feet. The rocks are slippery. So we have to be super, 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 super careful. Some telltale signs that if you're, you know, walking along the Levada and you see something that you know you need to turn around and go back or something. But definitely during the winter time, it rains a lot here. There's a couple of landslides and these parts can be overflowing. And, you know, in a second, a rock can come down. So super careful. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. Hold up. Let's try to bring this ISO down. Some of you may know I've been into my photography lately. And for those of you who are waiting for photos, I'm sorry. All right, we've been really busy and I've had computer problems. So the photos are coming. Thankfully, the problems are fixed. So uh, straight after, I've done with the, these five days of hiking and pho photographing. Just so you know what I'm shooting, I'm shooting on an A6300, uh, which is my good friend Luis's old camera. Thanks Luis, if you're watching. And I got this uh, Sony telephoto lens, which is cool for this walk because there's a lot of curves. So I can sit on the other side and like zoom in and get these photos. And then I got a Sigma, 16 millimeter Sigma, which is apparently like the best lens I could get for this camera for landscape photos, which is what Louise was into. And of course, what I'm into in my job as well. Good things coming at Hit The Road. We've got photos, we've got uh, nice looking Land Rovers, sunrises and sunsets. There's good stuff coming, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Here's just another example of a massive landslide. You can see all the way from the top here and obviously it would have taken away a little bit of the path. So you gotta be super, super careful. On this particular Levada as well, it isn't good for people who are vertigo sufferers. There's some narrow paths with some steep drops. So if you're looking for something that's less vertigo-ish, then you might want to try something else. And we're going to get to that on this channel because I know some people have asked for that. So we are going to get to that. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of, you know, emphasize that safety um, thing. We don't need, you know, I don't want to be responsible for anyone coming here because they saw this video and then getting themselves into trouble. So please be careful about this. And then you can also check out our video about how to hike in Madeira. There's all the tips there and all the links. And also if a trail is closed, right? If a trail is closed, please follow those rules. There's the, the forest rangers website and on that website, it's all listed which trails are open and which trails are closed. And if they are closed, then please don't go there, right? Let's carry on. They're already, they've, they've had enough of me, I think. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm sure they're having a good time. We've encountered our first, our first uh, guests on this Levada. So if you can believe it or not, we've been walking a couple of hours and we haven't seen a single person, not a tourist, not a local, nothing. Which is kind of weird. This is the house where they, where they treat the water. It's the, the, the support house for the Levaderos, the people who work the, the Levadas. Check it, this is all open. This is not usually open. Back in the day when they had to hike up here, now there's roads and things, so it's a lot easier. But if they had to stay the night or a couple of hours, then they would stay at this house, especially if they needed shelter from rain and stuff. This time is good for us to work here, not? Yes. No, 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 Ah, pois. A gente, a gente apanhamos uns pinguinhos, mas não foi muito. 
Não se vê muitos turistas aqui? Não, não. Eu passo aqui bastante aqui, mas estrangeiros aqui. Sem estrangeiros? Hoje não. I believe this is the longest levada in Madeira, in, com in total. All right, it's 106 kilometers. It starts um, just a couple of kilometers away from where we started. That is the start of the levada. That's where the source of the water comes from. Loads of water there. And then it heads out this way, goes to a tunnel over there, which we're going to see now in a second. Um, goes all the way to Santana, where there's a hydroelectric power plant. Very, very important Levada in Madeira that brings loads of water all over the island. So I want to show you the tunnel because it looks pretty cool. Yeah, this is obviously somebody, some protection. We're very uh, religious in Madeira. Either you are a Catholic or you are alcoholic <laughs> in Madeira. Sometimes both. But yeah, there's Catholic symbols everywhere. And this, of course, is one of the tunnels. And if you bend down, you can actually kind of see the lights at the end. Can you see it? Right at the end, you can see a little bit of a light. Oh, there's somebody. Hey, what is that? Is it? A... I'm getting out of here. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> this is built for Madeirans. It's built for Madeirans. Short, short. Remember, I'm tall in Madeira. Right, I'm like the tallest. Who's this? Who's that? Yeah. Who, 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 who's this? Who's that? Yeah. Who, who? Like the second tallest. Cristiano Ronaldo is the tallest Madeira ever. I'm like the second tallest. I'm just kidding. We make a joke that everything grows big in Madeira except for the people. That was Lisa, who, who's uh, bananas. who's that jo and bananas, yeah. But uh, this this uh, tour always reminds me of, of Lisa. This this hike because Lisa is uh, my favorite Funchal guide, and Lisa used to work with us at Hit the Road tours, and we used to sell this tour. Uh, on when we used to do hiking tours at Hit the Road. Now we only do the big walk and that's on hold at the moment until we figure out how we're going to be selling it. But I've been hiking for the last three days and I don't know, I kind of have a feeling that I might want to start hiking maybe a little bit more regularly, you know? So maybe you guys are lucky. And if uh, any of you are interested in hiking with me, then I don't know, send me a comment, send me a message, maybe. Maybe I'll create something. This over here is like a filter to filter out all the stuff uh, that falls in the levada, all the leaves and twigs and branches and whatever else that falls in there. It all gets filtered out over here and then it carries on through to the tunnels. Look at all the, all the leaves that come out here. Look at this. And then eventually when it starts raining, it'll all just get washed down and it's all natural, of course. It all belongs to this forest, so. She comes. <laughs> Marta, sabes que tu não tens ainda uma foto de perfil no, no WhatsApp? Sei. Sabes? Sei. <laughs> e vais fazer algo para isso? Ou... Tenho que pôr. Vou sugerir a gente fazer uma paragem em caminho para o hotel. Tá bem, vou fazer uma foto para o Fazer uma okay, foto para, para o teu WhatsApp, está bem? Claro, claro. Pronto. Thank you, Marta. Thank, Thank you. you, Marta. You've worked so hard today. She has gone. She has gone above and beyond all kind of work. I mean, she's been on the road like 10 hours now or something. Thank you, Marta. Thank you, Taxi Transfers. Links are in the description. So yeah, let's let's drop these guys off. We're gonna finish off the vlog. I'm gonna tell you all about the hike, where you can start, where to end, all that kind of stuff. Levada do Star in Zimbabwe is about a five-hour hike. It's 12.9 kilometers. The first bit is 30 minutes up. The, the end bit is 30 minutes down and the middle is all flat, as you could tell. This is not a good hike if you want to do uh, with a rental car uh, because it starts in one place and ends in another. So if you have to go there and back, it's just going to be way too much. Primarily a levada to do in the summertime. I wouldn't recommend doing it when there's rain, when in, whenever there's been a lot of rain, or if the levaders are overflowing. If you need any help in Madeira, then check us out, send us a mail, leave us a comment, 
like and subscribe because there's loads of cool stuff coming to this channel and without any further ado let's hit the road and go and sleep <laughs> oh, oh, oh.